What is schema markup? Why to use it if you have used it on your website and if not, how to generate and add it on your website. This video is going to answer all the questions for you. Hey everyone, you're watching getassist.net where I talk about email services, social media, troubleshooting and latest trends. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do not miss any informative videos that I post on this channel. Schema markup that is also known as structured data is a type of micro data that provides important information to the search engines. It is one type of HTML tags that help search engines understand your business name, type, address and other contact details in an easy manner. Now this might be surprising for you that Google who we think as so powerful, who tracks every information, analyze it, who has the answers to all your questions. So how is it possible that Google is not able to understand the information of a small website? The answer is search engines do not see the websites as we do. This is how we see any website on the internet. But the search engines can only see the websites in this form. All the colors, style, design of a website can only be seen by you. But for the search engines, it is just a long text file with so many sentences and numbers. And that is when it gets difficult for search engines to interpret which one is your address and which number is your phone number. Even though the technology has evolved so much, still there is no solution to the problem faced by search engines. That is why to overcome this, search engines like Google, Microsoft, Yahoo and Yandex found a schema markup that provides this information to the search engines in an understandable form. Let's take an easy example. Now in this code that you can see on the screen, the first line that is the context tag tells the search engine about what the information is all about. Then the next thing that is type, this is telling the search engine which type of property it is. Then this tag tells the ID of the website, the name tag tells the name of the website and the URL tag will tell the URL of the website. So that was the use of schema markup for search engines. Now you must be wondering why to use it or if there is any benefit of using schema markup for you. Using schema markup on your website can improve your brand presence and can also increase your CTR. Now, if you are wondering whether your website has schema markup data or not, you can use this tool by Google that will test your structured data also known as schema markup. I will put the link in the description box below and you can also see it on the screen. If you go to this link, this is the schema markup validator tool that you have to use. All right. So click on go to the schema markup validator. Now what you have to do is you just have to enter the URL of your website. So you can just copy paste it or you can manually type the URL. And then click on run test. So yeah, it will take a few seconds to analyze your website. Now on the left, you will be able to see the code of the website and on the right, you can see the schema markup data. All right. So as you can see, currently it is showing zero errors and zero warnings and all the items that Google is able to easily interpret from my website, such as type, ID, URL and so on, as you can see right here. Now, if you have not implemented schema markup on your website, you will not see any of these items here. You will see zero items. Currently it is showing as one here. You will see zero. And if there is error in the format of your schema markup data, here you will see an errors or warnings. If you were able to successfully test the data on your website, then well and good for you. But if you were not able to do so, no need to stress about it as you can easily generate schema markup data on your own. On Google, if you will type schema markup generator, You will see a lot of tools, so you can pick any one out of these. Now let's go for the first one that you can see it is from technicalseo.com. You can open this. Now here what you need to do is from this drop down menu right here, you have to select which type of property you want to create. All right. So you can select any uh, depending on the niche of your website, for example. If you have selected an organization, you will have to fill in all the information like the name of the organization, the type of the organization, 
if you have an alternate name for it, the URL of the website, the URL of the logo of your website, and you can also add as many social media profiles as you want, all right? So you can type any name for your organization. First of all, you have to select the type of organization and then you have to give a name for it. Then you have to give any alternate name if you want, any URL of the website and the URL for its logo. Then you can add social media profiles like Facebook, Twitter, as many as you want, Instagram, YouTube, if you have a YouTube channel. All right, so you can add all the URLs for that. And now if you will see on the right side, you will see that this, the schema markup data is ready. What you can do is you simply, you can simply select the entire data and just right click and copy it, all right? Now you can place this code on your website. If you have a WordPress website, you can easily paste the code in the indexed file or you can use free plugins that are available in WordPress. You can also use Yoast SEO plugin on your WordPress website that will do the job automatically. So I will show you how that works. To start with, you have to install Yoast SEO plugin and you can search it from the plugin section. And once you have installed and activated it, you have to go to the settings section of Yoast SEO where you will get the option to enter the settings for schema markup. Now, what you need to do is on the left of the dashboard, you will find the Yoast SEO option. So here you have to click on search appearance and then go to the general section. Now, if you will scroll down a bit, you will see this section that is knowledge graph and schema.org now here you can put in the organization logo the name of your website if yours is an organization and once you are done with everything you have to save the changes so that's all you need to do to add schema markup to, through yoast seo plugin now if you want to test the data what you can do is you can use the schema markup testing tool by Google that I showed you before. You just have to go to this tool and copy the URL of your website. So open this tool first of all. Now go to your website and just copy the URL. Paste it here and click on run test. So once it gets loaded all the information, it will take some time. Once the information gets loaded on the left, you will be able to see it in the code form and on the right, you will see the schema markup data and you can see easily if it is showing the right information or not. Similarly, you can also do a test for any other page on your website, all right? So now I'm gonna test one of my posts that is on my website. Click on new test and copy the URL of any page from your website and then paste it here the same way you have done earlier and click on run test, all right? So you will see once it gets loaded, you will see that the schema markup data has been automatically generated for this post and I haven't made any particular settings for this post. This data has been automatically generated by the Yoast SEO plugin. You can see everything here from title uh, of the post, the description for the post, uh, the heading, all right, every important information related to your post can be seen right here, all right? So that was all for this video. If you want more videos on schema markup, do let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't leave without subscribing if you found this video helpful and also press the bell icon to stay notified whenever I post a new video. For now, I will take the leave. We'll see you the next time.